on a series I have wanted to stop playing for a really long time. If you're new to this channel and you're like, why are we suddenly starting a vampires playthrough like years later? It's because I've been playing a more realistic Sims up until kind of fairly recently. I figured it was time to add vampires to the whole kind of shebang. So this series will be kind of a continuation of my Stranger stories, which started out in Strangerville. Then it moved in to uh, zombies and Stranger stories, and then it moved on to witches. It's part of that timeline. This is your first time on my channel, your first time with these characters. Let me give you guys a little bit of a backstory. So first of all, we have Cody Jett, who is a paranoid scientist. He made his name as the hero of Strangerville, and since then has also helped out with a zombie invasion, and has kind of been on the sidelines with a little bit of witch mischief as well. Next up, we have Seb Calorie Aiken. He was also in Strangerville, but he ended up being possessed. <laughs> he was also in the military, which was a huge part of his life. However, he did lose his leg and has been honorably discharged. And then finally we have Sammy B who is our resident witch. She has had some brushes with both good magic and dark magic and seems to be now trying to veer more towards the good side of things. To explain what was happening in that intro because I didn't feel right voiceovering it or putting text on the screen, I just wanted you guys to enjoy it. That was Cody out on a date with his girlfriend Perry who was definitely trying to time down to the domestic life, which Cody is not a huge fan of. He likes adventure he likes mystery, he likes the supernatural. He's a fringe scientist. And during his day, locked eyes with a vampire who kind of managed to use her glamour to speak to him, tell him that she is coming to him for his help because he seems to have a pretty good understanding and also has managed to save a lot of kind of supernatural causes. So she's hoping that he can help her with hers. She says the fine balance between vampires and humans is potentially under attack. And she wants to try and help the peace and needs Cody to help her out. But to enter her world, Forgotten Hollow, Cody is gonna have to look like one of the locals and behave like one of the locals. So unfortunately, once he agreed to help her out, she did kind of use a little bit of vampire trickery and she has bitten Cody and made her drink his blood. She knows what that entails. I don't think he does quite yet. So this is where little Coaster is living. It is like my dream house from my dream house series. Him and Rue live together. Rue is another of my little similarinos as well. And at this point, Cody is like, huh, I'm not feeling anything too weird from the bite right now. However, he does have this. Oh, look, he's thinking about Sammy B. Okay, he has it disgusted by food from a terrible stomach. All this food tastes awful. What could, What is happening? This cannot be good. He's also looking a little bit sick to me. I he's cooking with a bowl floating in the um, sink, which is pretty impressive. This is my first time playing vampires, by the way, which is why like, I wanted to do the beginning cinematic. But then the rest of it, I want to do with me kind of playing it because this is my first time experiencing this and I want to have fun. I, I want to just see what it's all about and figure things out as I go along. So the next thing to do is kind of get the whole gang back together. The problem is, oh wow, he hates Felix. It's been a while since he's seen the whole gang and he actually kind of had a pretty big falling out with Sammy B. When Sammy B started to kind of, uh, I'm interested what's, oh wow. Oh my gosh, you can see the bite on his neck. This is so freaking cool. So I wanted to see what happened when he bit the food. Yeah, he had a falling out with Sammy over the witches. He yeah. didn't think using magic to try and help their problems was a good idea. He was kind of right about that. If you watch my witch series, yeah. we kind of saw the downside to that in a big way. So he needs to first of all go ahead and talk to Sammy and try and clear things up and then check in on little Seb as well. They've been kind of there for him while he's been going through his whole, you know, I am a pirate like now type vibes. Oh wow, I don't think he's gonna be able to eat this. Does he, does he need to eat? How is his hunger looking? Your hunger is pretty good. If it's Oh, okay, yeah. he's suffered and eaten the whole thing. You know what? I can't even blame him. That is good work. So I'm gonna get him to go ahead and drop a tech to Seb and Sammy and just be like, look, if you guys are down for another crazy adventure, here is the address. We have a house waiting and ready to go for us. Arya the vampire has gone ahead and supplied that to them. That's all he's been given an address so far. I don't actually know if he cleared bringing along the three musketeers to the mix, but here we go. He's uh, he's texting the guys and now he has to go and explain to Ruben that, you know, I'm so sorry, dude, but I'm gonna be leaving you in this big old house on your own. And I also love that they have their uh, breakfast, the like Next. half naked. Down that is just amusing to me. He's gonna be like, I hate to leave you in a bad spot here, especially because, you know, money's pretty trudge right now and I'm the sole. Oh, okay, that does not look good. That does not look good. <gasps> I don't know how 
long it takes to turn. This is all new and exciting. I'm so excited by this. Uh, he's like, look, I hate to leave you in a bad spot. There's not a great deal of money, I know. But look, he's the literally North. saying it. He's like, I have to move out for a bit. There's something I've got to do. And I'm going to be leaving you in this house. I don't know. Are you like, oh, you clearly no. have medical bills to pay as well. Are you going to be able to handle things hey, on your own? Know. And Rue is like, actually, oh, I kind of have ideas for the house. Can we take this as in you're leaving this house to me? In which case I can do what I want. Cody's like, do you, bro? I have a mystery to solve and a new place to go and visit. Okay, so Cody's grabbing himself a little shower and stuff. And then we're going to get the gang and we're going to head to Forgotten Hollow. I'm so excited to get my three babies back together again. He's loving this house. I don't know how much you're going to love where you're going. It's all a bit spooky, but let's see how you get on. Looking good. Oh, wow. He's literally even thinking about vampire stuff now. Is this just like a hunger that cannot be solved? He doesn't know what it is, but he knows he's hungry for something. Maybe it's a good thing that we're not having him at home alone with Rue. I kind of worry about Rue's safety at this point, but let's go ahead, head outside, leave the dream house. Oh, hello, Micah. Leave the dream house alone and kind of have to abandon Rue for a little bit. Although he, I feel like he has some entertainment. So I don't think he's going to be here bored all on his own. And let's go ahead, get our little gang along out to Forgotten Hollow and begin a vampire's mystery. The gang's back together! And this is the house that we've been given. So let's go ahead and check it out. I've also just realized that because we're in vampy land, I should make it look dark and vampy in here too. Okay, hopefully you can still see me and it doesn't look too spooky. Let me know if you want me to do this for all episodes or not. Okay, Seb! Seb, that is an interesting outfit right here. But I think first of all, some kind of like hellos are definitely in order. Not some black males. I mean, it's raining. Is this quite like a rainy neighborhood? Are we gonna get a lot of rain here? Oh, uh, a mixture of rain. Okay, let me go ahead and bin talk like a pirate day because we all hate that one. And we got some at least nice little bromance hugs going on here. So that's nice. It's kind of easy for Seb because Seb's like, everyone likes Seb. Seb's the one everyone gets on with, even if he does walk around with his shot. Seb's so like, I know you guys, you got, you bros got some stuff to chat about. I'm gonna go see if this place has a gym. Meanwhile, these guys have definitely got some patching up to do with their relationship because they kind of Shot fell out there. pretty badly. <laughs> oh, they still know the secret handshake. Okay, that's a good thing. That is definitely a good thing because Seb was definitely really hard on Sammy B and the whole witches thing and kind of lashed out at him a lot. Sammy can be a bit of a handful and a bit annoying and crazy, but he's had a lot of time to work on himself. There's been some beautiful therapy going on with this beautiful little pink head boy. Pink in like a bit of a celebration for Lilith, I think. Although I secretly think it's also absolutely murdering his hair with bleach. So I don't know how long you'll keep it up for. But Lilith was his mom. So we wanted to do a little bit of something in helping him get over his grief. Just to kind of remember her and do something that's like a little bit of a, oh, thinking about you, mom, but in a healthy way. And wow, we've got the tummy things going on with Cody again. Also, I'm noticing that uh, whoever had this house before us seems like paranoid about something because we got a lot of garlic on the walls here I'm noticing straight away. Oh, Sammy put in a little sunshine spell on Seb being like, Seb, you just sort of seem like you need it. Sammy, who I'm so looking forward to Roma magic coming out so I can actually have sensible magic and not crazy mod magic where people turn into frogs all the time. Okay, so I think maybe Arya has actually been researching us a little bit more than we thought because there's a sparring room here for Seb. I seem to remember this bed being a bed that Cody has used in the past. And we also have our little resident witchy room upstairs for Sammy as well. So I think she did know he was going to bring his little trio and she's also got everything set up for them. Now that Seb's had a spa and has some clothes on, I think it's probably about time for Cody to explain exactly what has been going on, which I can do with these new like la 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 debate existence of vampires. I'll literally just tell them exactly what has happened, which is look, a vampire came to visit me. We're here to try and look at his little sunshine spam. Charm, we're, we're here to try and solve an issue that the vampires are having. Seb's like, what? So like, all supernatural beings just have you on speed dial now? Are you actually infamous at this point, Cody, for saving the supernaturals? And he's like, yeah, I guess I am. I defeat the mother. I defeated a zombie virus. So I was like, yeah, you didn't do anything with witches. That was all me. And he's like, oh yeah, good job at uh, releasing your cousin as a super evil witch and just releasing her into the world. Good job. And Sammy's like, yeah, good job. Wait, wait a minute. That wasn't a compliment. No, Sammy, it wasn't. Oh, and this vampire thing seems to be getting worse and worse. 
But yeah, Maybe it's his cousin. It is his cousin. Her and her brother were both born as witches, like Sami. But because of her kind of messed up childhood, watch my witches series to find out what happened. She kind of went super evil. Like, super evil. And Sami is trying to try and find her, bring her back home. And he would like to try and make her good because she is family. I personally think she's too far gone. Also, apparently she's a detective, which makes no sense, but whatever. Oh, wow. He's super uncomfortable. He's coming here to try and eat. I don't know if he wants to eat in front of the boys because I feel like he's left out a pretty major part of his story, which was... And I got bitten by a vampire, and then she bit her wrist, and then I drank it, and then she disappeared in a puff of smoke. But I also don't know if I imagined it or not, but I don't know, I have holes in my neck, so no, maybe I didn't not. imagine it. Who knows? Vampire's glamour is a very powerful thing. He's like, yeah, guys, look at this bowl of chips I just totally ate normally. This is the forgotten hollow neighborhood. The first time I've ever, like, properly looked around it, I've added some houses. I've added some of your guys' um, vampires from the Clash of On Vampires tag on the gallery. Uh, oh wow, oh wow, what is this lady doing? I feel like that's the first time she's ever used that before. And yeah, it's pretty spooky. It's pretty cool. I'm kind of digging it. This is where, their house is like right on the edge of the water here, which is really cool. There's like a tombstone in the middle of that lake. I don't know if you can get all the way over there though. Oh no, you know you can't. But look, there's like a tomb here and everything. Creepy little hole up here. Like just creepiness everywhere. It's awesome. I love it. I'm there for it. I'm excited about it all. Apart from the weather. It ain't no Solani, let's just put it that way. And I actually also love- Wow, there is a lot of garlic in this house. Like, wow. So much garlic in this house. I'm kind of loving the fact that there's no TV here. It's all- Oh, wow. Oh, wow, nauseated. I actually think he needs to be sick. Oh my gosh, Cody. Cody, Cody, Cody. Yeah, the fact that there's no TV means the boys can all talk. Which is good, because these guys are, like, chit-chatting and seeming, like... They're quite different personalities. Cody's quite, like... He is a goofball, but in an adult kind of way. He's, oh, we should go exploring together. It's so cute. He is kind of, like, a serious sim who ha feels a great deal of personal responsibility and, like, doing the right thing. Whereas Sammy is just kind of, like, enjoy life. Be crazy. I've, in, like, all that goes through his head is cute boys. One cute boy in particular, let's face it. Okay, his stomach's getting worse. His stomach's getting worse. I thought... I would be able to avoid the bombs, but I don't think I can. I think he's gonna have to be sick. It's like, my pink head friend. Excuse me for one moment, please, because I need to go and vomit. Don't worry. It's not your anything you're saying. It's not the poor damaged bleach condition of the ends of your hair. It's nothing to do with that. Please don't worry. It's because I can't eat food anymore. It makes me want to be sick. Oh, yeah, you might want to clean that. I know this is a house full of boys, but please be more clean. Oh, wow, what are you doing in here? You still look great. If you just cooked sir. Oh, one plate. Wow. It's a shame it's rainy. Otherwise, like, I would send them out for a, li a little explore. But, like, you don't really want to explore in this kind of gross rain. Do you even get sunlight here? Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's, like, a safe for vampires kind of environment. Because, look, it's the middle of the day and there's moths around the lump. Well, it's not the middle of the day. It's, like, 5 p.m. But it's not nighttime yet. But there's moths around the lump. Wild wolf, Spain. Oh, my God. I want Sammy to be a little bit like a, like, green witch. So let's definitely go ahead and take some curtains and stuff oh wow what's this ah oh, six of mosquito trap oh am i gonna see it catch something oh my gosh that's so cool i love the fact that you got something to get rid of mosquitoes let's definitely get little green witch sammy out here with the the wild flowers and whatnot taking some curtains and doing some plantings and what have you even listen to that noise like oh hate mosquitoes so much because they love me. Oh, and what was me talking about being no TV? So it being like so much better. <laughs> so much better for them socializing. Actually, there was a TV here all this time. Oh, appetite loss. Look at this. From slipping humanity. Nothing fills this empty stomach anymore. Okay, he's gonna become thirsty fairly soon. Just so we know. And oh my gosh, Seb is feeling thus. He has the woohoo okay. desire and is telling Cody all about a girl he's seeing. That he's sad he has to leave behind, but also he Gosh, quite frankly no had enough guys. of nappies Hooray. from looking after his sister's baby too. I have to realize Sammy's still running around. <laughs> running around with the plants. And honestly, the whole place is so creepishly dead. Like... Where is the light? There's like more bugs here than there are people. There's just wolfsbane as well. The only thing that grows here is wolfsbane. I'm sorry, I'm still figuring everything out. I'm so intrigued by it all. There's just like gravestones. There's a whole graveyard here. Oh wow, there's a whole graveyard here. Okay, this is pretty high spook levels right now. Oh, look, there's a little bridge there, but I can't go. Oh, oh, what's this, what's this? 
Oh, is that where the bats live? I can't get into it though. What's this? I'm just like exploring wild. Oh, the bats come out the cave. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Okay, amazing, amazing. I feel like I have to paralyzedly like watch him as well. Like there's a person just coming over here right now. Lei Yama Yamamato. Like Sammy's like a child. You have to keep an eye on him. Okay, yeah, so she definitely ain't normal. Um, Sammy, this is why we didn't send you out on your own. Stood in front of the bats just like. The bats, the health of my skincare routine. No, Sammy. Okay. I feel like you've got some kind of parked and with your hair colors and she's leaving you alone. So that's good. But yeah, you've done enough digging. I think it's definitely time. You to get your butt home, please. Oh, look at that. He he just ran. He probably doesn't even actually know who she is. But it seems like Aria was checking up and making sure that they had, had moved into the house that she'd left them which they obviously have. She's been checking up and I've just realized as well, I can definitely make Sammy teleport because he is witch, boom, teleportations. Yeah. Okay, and I think I'm gonna, <laughs> Cody's lust. I think I'm gonna go ahead and send them to bed because I'm kind of intrigued as to how Cody's humanity is gonna continue. I think he wants to go to sleep anyway. Yeah, he's pretty tired. He's hungry, but he can't eat. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Seb can do himself a little bit of a workout and then go to sleep. And Sammy is doing some witchlings and then head into sleep as well. And if he does turn into a vampire, <laughs> I'm getting kind of intrigued as to how that's gonna go in the house of garlic. Seriously, there's garlic everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. I've never seen, the, the irony is we forgot to get garlic in our shopping this week. So I can't eat any garlic. If I lived in this house, I'd be laughing. I'd be putting my usual five cloves into everything because I need a lot of garlic to be able to taste it. I'd be the worst vampire ever because I'd be like, oh, this is fine. I can just eat this. This isn't going to kill me. Oh, look at little Seb with his little leg doing his kicks. You're such a clever boy. Well done. I don't know what you're holding. An invisible, I don't know. You've damaged your arm now, but well done. And all three of my babies are asleep. This, oh, mistiness. Oh, spooky mist is everywhere. Okay, we'll see if anyone goes walking through or anything. We'll see what the vampy happy hops are. Oh, what's this? Oh, a wild plasma tree. Sammy, you missed the coolest one. Oh my gosh, Sammy, this tree is glowing, glowing. Okay, we have to 100% investigate that tomorrow because, oh, what is this? Oh, Sammy, you missed everything. Oh, 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 ah! Cody is transitioning into a vampire. Okay, clearly we have to get a good angle for this good angle. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is the first time you ever see in this. Okay, here we go. <gasps> what is his hand doing? <laughs> Why is his hand doing that? <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, this vampire is not a good looking you. <gasps> He can see the garlic. He can see the garlic. Is it annoying him? He has a strange thirst. So thirsty. Water just isn't cutting it anymore and he's thinking about Seb. He can see garlic. He, he can actually see it. Does it bother? <gasps> Vampire energy. Okay, hot pause. Used to perform powers. Recover by sleeping or using dark meditation. Power reward. He has four power points. <gasps> oh my gosh, vampire powers. He Detect personality, bat form. <gasps> Gain the ability to fly anywhere as a bat. Cast hallucination. Eternally welcome, sneak into houses. Or opulent student, use less vampire energy. I think as like a science buff, I feel like he's gonna put some into this because that just kind of feels like his jam. And he still has one left, but I kind of want to hold on to them for now. Okay, so we're an efficient vampire. And I think it's time for us to go ahead and make Cody's dark form. And then you got some explaining to do tomorrow, friend. So I'm gonna make his dark form kind of based on the way I've done the other vampires. And I actually kind of love the idea that when you're like in vamp form, I, I don't think you should have a perfect face. Like this ain't no glittery Edward Cullen, okay? I think vampires are meant to look a little bit dark and creepy and scary. I think that's like a cooler look for them. And obviously another thing that he will need is vampire teeth. Oh wow, they're kind of creepy. I don't know whether to go for a more basic one. These are meant to be the ultra real ones. I don't know, are they a little bit much? I kind of prefer these ones. I think I'm gonna go for those ones there. Oh my gosh, I've got some really creepy ones. Like, oh. Then maybe we could make like, cause he's actually got green eyes, but kind of make them have like 
a creepster sort of factor to them. Okay, I know the actual bite was on the other side, but I kind of want to immortalize his bites and scars there forever. And I ended up dialing down a little bit on the eye makeup. I don't know. It was just a little bit much. These eyes are so dark anyway. Let me know what you think. Should I add a bit more or not? I don't know. I'm kind of... I'm kind of happy-ish with them now. My heart wants to go extreme vampire, but my head is like, don't scare all of your viewers away. <laughs> and why... Why does it not link all their clothes? Like, what is this vibe? I hate that vibe. Why does it do that? I'm gonna have to go through and individually set them all myself. Why? Why is that even a thing? I'm not sure and I'm vexed. Please let me know if there's a mod to fix that because the idea of individually going through and applying like freaking 20 layers to six outfits is just too much for my brain to handle right now. Okay, so I can make him go into his dark form with this. I'm so intrigued by dark meditation. Is it just, oh look, he's hating the garlic being around. Okay, wow. He can't do anything while this, all this garlic's here. You are in, oh my gosh, the most garlicky house I've ever seen in my whole life. So that kind of makes sense. You're the only one up. So I guess while those guys sleep, you could go ahead and remove all of the garlics. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of garlic right here. I mean, you were definitely keeping all vampires away from this house. Whereas after you take all these down, I feel like it will be a beacon to the vampires because your house suddenly won't be glowing anymore. I feel like Seb will probably want to keep some above his window because he's the least into this kind of whole fantasy vibe. Okay, let's see if he can transform now. Yeah. Oh, so it was that that was stopping him from transforming. I'm kind of intrigued to see does he have a reflection anymore. <gasps> he has no reflection. He has no reflection. If he looks in the mirror, he sees Gone nothing. Out. Just his creepy own, like, uh, no, not yeah, even his yeah, creepy yeah, own reflection. Starve. He sees nothing. His thirst is at about half right now. They don't get thirsty often, but be sure to drink from Sims or eat plasma fruits when they do. Otherwise, they may attack a nearby Sim without warning. Okay, he's still, he's cleaning up. I thought he was off to go and eat. I mean, Cody, it's gonna be a pretty big giveaway when they come downstairs and you're just floating around in your dark form, but whatever. And how do I gain power? I'm a fledgling vampire right now. I don't know, I don't know how to gain power. Is it by doing vampy things? Should I do some dark meditations? Look at him just cleaning. What an absolute googie. You've become the thing you are fighting against, Cody. The supernatural entities. You are now one. Oh, wow. Okay, you are now most definitely one of them. Oh my gosh. That was that was a quick meditation. Oh, because your energy's full. I don't, I don't know how to gain stuff. I don't, I don't know if it's just over time, I will just slowly start going up or what. But he's getting a bit hungry, gang. He is getting a little bit hungry. Maybe now would actually be a good time to read the book that Arya gave you in her like glamour sort of vision that she bestowed upon you. You can try and figure out a little bit more about this. And he's definitely thirsty, guys. He's definitely thirsty. I kind of like the law that if a vampire becomes a vampire and doesn't feed like within a certain time period, then they die. So like a vampire has to feed to actually become a vampire. I think that's like a good law. Oh, and I hear someone in the kitchen. Oblivious Sammy is up and I'm kind of now worried for him because if I go on Cody, pretend to buy. Oh my gosh, that's such a harsh prank. Could He can drink from him. <gasps> he can compel well, him or he can ask for permission. He's just called, oh my gosh, he's just made him breakfast and called him to breakfast being like, morning Cody, just doesn't even notice anything. He's like, oh my gosh, check me out. I'm up early for once. I want to try and plant these new plants I found around. I am so about the witchy life today. I am hyped. Go and get your caprese salad. Who cooks a salad for breakfast? Sammy does. Okay, let's see how long it takes Sammy to notice. Sammy here, having a nice... Oh, wow, he's even sat at the other end of the table. I mean, Cody is still kind of obvious, babes. Oh my gosh, this boy. This boy! What? <laughs> this boy. Sammy, I... <laughs> what is wrong with you? Okay, he's coming in to chat Super with him. Uh, Are you still that oblivious? You, seriously, boy. Sammy? Seriously? Okay, Seb is up in those freaking shorts again. Is okay. Okay, finally somebody acting shocked. Thank you, Seb. At least somebody has noticed the fact 
that there is a freaking vampire in the house. The one that sent us over here to help with vampires has instead become one. Okay, Seb, Seb has got Cody against the wall. Now would be a real good time, Sammy, to, I don't know. Oh my gosh, are these fairies? These freaking fairies. Oh no, they're the witch. They're the broom thing, aren't they? Okay, Sammy, let's go. Let's go to the plasma plant because we found it. We knew. We, where was it? We found it, I swear. It's here. It's here. Okay, okay. Get here right now. Fly your little broomstick all the way over here, please. And this. Oh my gosh, there's actually fruit on the tree. Okay, this is so freaking lucky. We need to harvest all of the fruit or else somebody's getting the blood drunk today. Oh my gosh, this boy has no haste. This boy has no haste. Okay, I think that's literally as much as we can get. Get flying, witch boy, and fly home with your plasma fruits ASAP. Good lad. It's a good job saving us all. Is so much freaking fun, isn't it? Okay, Sammy's back. Sammy's back. Where is Where is your fruits? Where is your fruits? Where are they at? No! 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 You're even in full witch gear. Stop this. Stop this. We're happening right now. Sammy, where are you going? Okay. Okay. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's trying to do it. Okay. Magic still works on vampires. Good to know. You just stay there for a minute, please, babes. Where's the plasma fruit? Sammy. Sammy. Oh my gosh, it's here. Yes. Cody, look. Hopefully, they're still gonna work. He's about yibs, yibs, let me up. I promise I won't do anything. And he's like, you are gonna, I'm like literally gonna compel you to eat these fruits. Don't be eating us, okay? Just don't be eating us. Okay, is he gonna do it? <gasps> okay, he's doing it. He's eating the plasma fruits. Oh my gosh, he goes back to sit. Oh my gosh, he sticks a little straw in it. That's so freaking cute. Okay, this is good. Is that helped with his thirst? A little bit. Okay, they're not great for the thirst thing. He's feeling dazed from being enchanted. But I don't care. This seems to be the best case scenario. We've got him to drink call three honestly that is not gonna stop him for long this is definitely not a long-term solution okay cool. let's dispel our enchantment on him then just kind of hope that he's not gonna kill us all because that would not be good okay he's returning back to a normal looking cody with slightly less angry looking eyebrows kind of looks just confused about everything and we're gonna have to keep find a way to keep my boy fed that doesn't include oh, drinking God. his cousins yes, yes. because that to me is just it's not good family manners really and yeah guys he's definitely thirsty i don't know he's complaining about the sun as well i don't know if he's gonna have to do a first drink just to like avoid dying or like turn into ice or something but we now have a vampire Empire, a witch and a human oh wow it's misty today all living under one roof and we still need to find out more from aria about why she has brought us to this creepy creepy misty place which i'm sure she's gonna drop in on when she's figured out whether we've survived the transformation to being a vampire yet. so if you guys have enjoyed this video please give it a big cheeky thumbs up let me know in the comments below give me your vampire tips how do i increase cody's level and also i'm hoping we're gonna bump into a few more of our neighborhood vampires in the next episode thank you so much for watching bye